To the story now, Judge Pete Kuhn has recused himself from former President Jacob Zuma's corruption trial. Our reporter Desen Thalti is on the story and joins me now with the very latest. Good morning yet again, Desen. Very interesting developments in court. The judge saying his conscience dictates that he recuse himself. This process must be beyond criticism. Talk us through that particular announcement or judgment, if you will. Definitely a very short sitting here in court. We're in for a very short while, but that is also because Judge Pete Kuhn, in fact, read out his summary judgment. The full judgment is 47 pages, but in essence, it really just speaks to what he's been saying all along when it came to this possible recusal. It was around the fact that he felt that his comments that were made at the time of the special plea, that was when the Zuma's legal team wanted to remove the lead prosecutor advocate, Billy Downer, felt that those comments may be seen to be uh, to be influencing the way he conducts this trial and one thing that he said specifically is he says that the law dictates that there doesn't have to be actual bias so he insists that there isn't actual bias but even just the apprehension of bias could be enough and in that case any judicial officer officer should find himself in a position where he can recuse himself we're going to unpack this further now with Mbumalelo Zekalala once again thanks for joining me Mr Zekalala let's look at some of the comments that, uh, that, that, that Judge Pete Kuhn made today in his summary judgment, I would say it was very balanced. He, he definitely considered all sides. But I can also say that it doesn't necessarily look like a surprise based on what he said previously. Not, not at all. And I think you, one would have read, or maybe when you hear him speak, that he had already taken or maybe had a view of saying, you know, the type of comments that I've made in that judgment may come back to bite me at a certain stage. So I want to protect the, the, these records. I want to protect this process and make sure that it's beyond reproach. The integrity of these proceedings must also be protected. So if it means that I have to recuse myself because I've pronounced on a certain matter, then so be it. Uh, the judgment is in black and white and it can be raised at any point in time. So I do not want, after we've sat here, listen to a number of witnesses dealt with an inconceivable amount of evidence, then to come back at a later stage for the matter to be thrown out based on technicality. So to stop that process from happening, let me recuse myself at this very early stage and allow another judge to then sit in and listen to the evidence which will then come. Also alluding to the fact that there may be a fresh application uh, for the recusal of to Billy down because at the time in which he made his pronouncement, there were no court proceedings proceedings which are against him. So he wasn't referring to Africa Billy Down as an accused, but now yes, he has to refer to him as an accused in that private prosecution matter that is going to be considered at a later stage. So all those dyna dynamics then come into the fore and there may be parcel and parcel of things in which the new judge will have to deal with in a few moments' time. And that's what I wanted to go to. Does this now open the door to relaunching that original application that Judge Pete couldn't have heard regarding the special plea. The door is not closed because whenever you make an application you then say, yes, we may pronounce on this particular matter, on these merits and these facts. However, there are new developments that have taken place. Another way of putting it is, would you want to have a prosecutor who is a, an accused in another matter, intimately linked to this one, pertaining to certain things or in a manner in which he has acted in, adding on to the fact that there's already a complaint that's been made to the LPC, if there is, there's already a complaint that's been made to the, to the, to the, to the NPA, the Director of Public Prosecution. Do you want to continue with an NPA who is like that in this particular matter? Another thing, what is so... So especially for a lack of a better word with this prosecutor, that another prosecutor cannot do in order for this matter to move forward. Can you please consider that and, and maybe check whether it is an instance in which our court would then say you have a, a proper prosecutor that can be able to prosecute under these circumstances. And he called it a, a unique and novel situation that we find ourselves in where a prosecutor is being privately prosecuted. But now, moving forward, uh, there is a short recess, but the new judge will be stepping in here. How do you see the rest of, of, of this playing out? Uh, it's as if, we, we, as we have stated earlier, purely administrative, probably they have been given instructions now and being uh, told you must come and deal with this particular matter. So he, will, he or she will come in and sit in and check the state of readiness of both parties, check where they are. Can the matter be able to start within the second term? We are looking at those dates in April up until June for those 10 weeks and maybe another 10. Uh, if, it, if it needs be, and if everyone is available, then simply move on from there. So there's no impediment which is going to take place from now up, up until then. It's just the, the new presiding officer to sit in and take the matter forward. Thank you so much, Mr. Sikalala. I appreciate it. Well, now it seems like there will finally be some significant movement, and that's because now that Judge Pete Kuhn has recused himself and the next judge will be uh, introducing himself to the parties, 
There should also be the possibility of the, the trial date being set, or at least when the next court appearance will take place. So this is a short while ago after Judge Pete Kuhn had stepped out. He did say that the new judge would be stepping into the courtroom shortly. We will be bringing those updates to our viewers in the next short while as well.